So first off, great game, guys. Uh, I've been a senior. I'm a senior now. I got to watch you guys grow since I was a freshman. It's pretty awesome to watch you guys play. It's been fantastic four years. DJ, your announcement for your fifth year. Did Kyle Smith know about that? Yeah. No, I was, I was going to say that was some pretty good. So what went into waiting until now just um, to, to announce that? I, w I just wanted to keep everyone on their toes. I, I told I told a I told I mean I did I was thinking about it a little bit uh, to be honest but um, I mean the, I think I was the process of elimination elimination like what's gonna be the best opportunity for me and I mean I'm I'm happy here I've been happy why not why not come back well we want to thank you again for staying for a fifth year because you're fun to watch of course make a huge difference one more question I guess for the both of you. Um, you guys playing up, going up against a big guy like Infali Dante, most especially you, Mo, um, and and I guess DJ too. So when you're trying to find Mo in the post against a guy like Dante, who's six eleven and you know super huge, what's the biggest thing going in your minds trying to feed Mo when you're going up against a guy like Dante? Um, I mean, Mo's quicker and and faster than him. He might not be stronger. No, definitely not. No, but um, no, I I know if Mo's gonna get, when when Mo's gonna get the ball, he's gonna make a move and he's gonna make him pay for playing behind. I mean, you gotta front you gotta front him because you don't want him to get the ball. Like he can do, he can score in a variety of ways, and he showed it, obviously. Oh, for me, I just want the ball, bro. No matter how I get it, when I just want to get the ball and make the right play, either shoot it, pass it, or you know, whatever it takes. Uh, do you guys feel like you've played in a lot of these close games now to the point where you're you're feeling comfortable in those situations where it's kind of a you know it like that thrilling finish later on in the game? Yeah, I mean, I think our losses in the beginning of the season were were still growing pains. As in, we were, we had a almost a whole new roster. Uh, we all we we like and we had injuries a lot before the season, and um, I feel like we're now trying to finally starting to get our footing. As in the close game thing, and we're we're good when we when we shoot well, but like today we shot okay, like we shot all right, but we defended pretty well, and we defended hard when we needed to, and that's that's kind of, that was kind of the key to today, and I think everyone saw that as well. And can either of you guys kind of walk walk us through that that last possession, kind of what was drawn up defensively on your guys' part, and how do you feel you you executed in stopping them there? Uh, when it was ten, I mean six seconds left, we just say no trees. We're going to switch everything up top, and if they got a two, just inbound the ball fast and shoot the free throw and make it. And, and Mo, I think it's, what, five of the last seven games with a double-double. Uh, do you feel like you're, I guess, kind of playing your, your best ball late, and, and, and where do you think you're, you're finding the most success right now? Honestly, I don't even think about it. I just, they just hit me after the game, oh, you got a double-double. But I, feel, I don't feel like just me getting double-double is me playing good. Like... The last game I went nine for nine, no rebound. I thought I played pretty good, but it always feels good to have a double double. Of course, it showed that you're pretty much doing a lot on the floor, rebounding, scoring, and of course, it feels good for sure. And, uh, DJ, just another thing on the announcement coming out. What? How could you kind of sum up the emotions you're feeling? You know, when you see Trinity up on the screen, and you know you're coming out with family members, and what was that moment like? Um, I didn't think I didn't know that my sister did that, and that's what that's kind of why, because I we never. Like she said in the video, we never really talk like that. We don't really, I mean, we know, we have an unspoken bond relationship as in, like we both know we love each other. We don't really need to like express it that much. Like we would do anything for each other. But I mean, other than that, I just, the last four years just r rushed through my head. And I don't know, I was just, I'm just so thankful that I'm here and still playing and, you know, uh, making it happen, making it work. Uh, offensively, you know, kind of a split thing here where the first half, the shooting was kind of rough, second half that got up. Uh, was there a specific change at halftime that you guys, you know, came into the second half with that made that offensive, uh, those offensive struggles end? We took really bad shots in the first half. Yeah. And um, we just wanted to clean it up because we were we could, we could get shots, but we were just taking the, the wrong ones in the possession. Like, if we let it... Uh, if we let it happen and let it uh, marinate, not marinate. That's not no. If we let it, um, if we let the play uh, keep going, play, pan out, we we would get the open shot so, later in the play rather than taking the first one and um, just rushing the shots. And that's what we were doing in the first half. And 
Yeah. And then kind of the same question, but defensively. I think the defense was pretty similar through the halves, but was there anything throughout the game that you were noticing that you were kind of trying to target more? Definitely from Dante, because he's really hard to guard when he got a good position. Besides that, just, you know, don't let them shoot or shoot like Richardson and Bartolome. they great shooters. Just limit their threes and front down to right. And so, DJ, um, or about your, another question about your announcement. Did you let anyone in your circle, uh, did you talk to anyone about your decision? And what was that conversation like if you had one? Um, the only people I told were my mom, obviously, my sister, not Trinity, my older sister who walked out with me, um, my girlfriend, and I told, I hinted to my, to the freshman, as in Shay, BK, and uh, Dylan, because I hung out with them last night, and I wasn't, uh, I was ready, I was, that, I made the decision last night, just fully in, and I wanted to be there, you know, and um, that's, that's the only people, oh, Coach John knew, because he wanted to put it together, and that was, I think, I think Jim knew as well, but that, that those, only, those are only people, really. Yeah, that graphic got up fast, so I was going to say. <laughs> um, and then with kind of just with your decision to return to what kind of is your goal and your, your vision for your next year, for your fifth year? Um, I just want, I want to make the tournament, obviously. I think everyone does on our team. I think that we will if we, uh, I mean, if we keep the same guy, if, we, if he doesn't go to the NBA, which would, you know, which, 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 which is selfish of me, but, I mean, I'm, I'm cool. I'll, I'm happy, I'll be happy for him if he goes, but. Um, I mean, I just want I just want to go as far as possible and just do what every other team in the nation wants to do, and we just got to be better than a lot of the other teams. We got to be one of the top sixty-four. So that's it. Awesome. And though last last year, of course, you made the decision to come back. What have you seen in your second year, and, and what have you learned from your second year of college? Uh, just being more comfortable and have the trust of the coach and my teammates. They allow me to make decisions. They, I get the ball a lot, so. Just being back here, you know, obviously Pullman is really nice, nice people. I feel like I grew a lot too in my game, just me in person too. I think that's overall growth. Awesome. And obviously, you know, your future is, you know, to be decided, but what are some of your goals and how might Pullman or how might NBA fit, in, fit into that? Yeah. I have no idea for right now. <laughs> <laughs>